Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to import video into Ableton Live. First thing you want to do is you want to download these two codecs. One of them is this one, just click download right over here. And the other one is this one, just click the 64-bit download because chances are your computer is 64-bit. Now when exporting out of Premiere Pro, um, I'll show you real quick. So I'm just using this file as an example. Click Control M on your keyboard to bring up the render menu. Um, format, do H2.64 and then preset. I'm just going to show you guys my Ableton preset that you can make your own using these buttons over here. Uh, so for video, 1280 by 720. Even if your video is 1080, put it down to 720 just because Ableton is going to have an easier time dealing with the 720 clip. Um, frame rate, keep it at 30 or 29.97. Um, just of course, because these are very common frame rates and Ableton's gonna, gonna you know not fuck up if you do that I'm not saying it will with any anything else but just to be safe just keep it at 30 or 29.97 uh, TV standard NTSC um, encoding settings profile main level 5 to 1 bitrate settings 25 to 50 uh, just keep these relatively low you can choose your own if you like but these are mine uh, advanced settings this one's really important the lower this value is for your keyframe distance the faster Ableton is going to be at previewing your clip so keep this you know around 5 or 1 or whatever so just keep that value low um, audio settings ACC uh, high 320 that should be there by default so you should be good there um, and then just save this wherever you want and click export now if you're exporting out of After Effects you're gonna have to export through Adobe Media Encoder using the same settings that I showed you in Premiere because After Effects doesn't have any codecs that Ableton supports unless you have a third-party plugin called After Codex, which enables you to render out of After Effects using a .mov or a .mp4 file container with an H.264 codec. <laughs> that's a lot, that's a fucking mouthful right there, but basically it means that you can export out of After Effects without going through Adobe Media Encoder in order to bring your file, your video file, into Ableton. So I'll show you my settings for After Codex real quick. Um, over here, I just changed it to 30 because the original FPS of this clip was 25. Of course, I said Ableton likes 30 better, so that's why we did that. Format, of course, After Codex.mp4. Um, resize this to 720p, even if your thing is at 1080, but of course mine's already at 720, so I really don't need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyways just to show you guys. Um, audio output on, uh, and here are my after codec settings, um, bitrate, of course, video code at H2.64, um, bitrate 35, speed 3, GOP 5, um, of course, audio codec to ACC. If you do wave, your Ace, your uh, Ableton will crash, which sucks. But um, yeah, these are not, of course, the highest quality, but you don't need the highest quality because we want it to be fast when we're in Ableton because all we're doing is audio and we just need the video just for a reference and timing and shit like that. So anyways, click OK and we can just render this and um, I'll see you guys in Ableton once this finishes. All right, so here in Ableton, whether you exported from Premiere or After Effects, what you want to do is you want to get your file and you want to go to the arrangement view, which this is the session view. This is the arrangement view over here. Uh, just drag your file. As you can see, it's going to make this. Oops. I mean, it. hold on. It'll make this like X thing, as you can see. But once you get to the arrangement view, it'll allow you to drag it in and just drag, drop. You'll see this like video thing pop up. And if you play it. Your shit works, and yeah, that's how it should be. So this is not a tutorial on how to use Ableton for those of you who watch me for COD editing. Um, but basically, after you're done doing all your audio, you just want to make sure, you know, this sort of loop thing is over your whole entire thing. And to export it, just go to File. I mean, let's pretend that I finished everything and I added all the effects that I need to add and all that. Go to File, go to Export Audio slash Video. And then export it as a PCM wave uh, format. Um, make sure normalize isn't checked because I think when you first open Ableton, normalize is on. You don't want that on. Um, and just click export. Um, that should be everything. I mean, I'm, I know I didn't get too nitty gritty into Ableton, but this is just how to import your stuff into Ableton because when I was first trying to do that, I was really struggling because I couldn't find the right 
codec and format for my video file and Ableton would always crash. So yeah, if you have any more questions, make sure to check out this page on Ableton's website on how to use, uh, how to import video into Ableton. Uh, some of this stuff is outdated. Like for example, you don't want to use MOV with H2.64 because that's actually like some old school stuff. Uh, but for the most part, I showed you guys how to use this second method here, but there's also this method. Um, and there's also all this stuff. So if you're having issues, definitely check out this webpage. And uh, yeah, that should be everything, guys. Hope you learned something. And yeah, peace.